Hello reception. Today I'm a little bit excited because a new storybook arrived in my post. I ordered this story because it's from one of my favourite authors, Julia Donaldson. And Lydia Monks has drawn all the pictures in the storybook. And she's made them a little bit special. They're all a bit sparkly with lots of glitter. This story is called What the Ladybird Heard at the Seaside. And this little character you might remember. In nursery, we read two storybooks with this little character inside the ladybird. Shall we see what happens in this story? I'm very excited. I'm going to start at the front of the book. Here's our ladybird. Oh look, here's the countryside, there's the farm. I wonder if that's the farm the ladybird lives on. Oh, look, there's the seaside. Okay, I'm going to start the story. One July, when the sun was high, the ladybird took to the clear blue sky. She spread her wings in the summer breeze and flew over farms and fields and trees. She flew and she flew as fast as could be till at last she came to the deep salt sea. And the sea lion roared and the seagull shrieked. The mermaid sang and the dolphin squeaked. The crab went snap and the shark went gnash. The whale's grey tail made a mighty splash. The dogfish barked and the catfish purred. But the ladybird never said a word. But the ladybird saw and the ladybird heard. She saw two men in a camper van with swimming trunks and a cunning plan. They were hefty Hugh and Lanky Len up to their wicked ways again. Said Lanky, Lanky Len to hefty Hugh, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We'll lie and wait till it's 12 o'clock. Then out we'll swim to the mermaid's rock. The mermaid's hair is very long. She combs it while she sings her song. But when it's night and she's fast asleep, then tiptoe onto her rock will creep and snip, snip, snip will cut that hair so very long and very fair. Said Hefty Hugh to Lanky Len, we'll make a lovely wig and then we'll sell it to a famous star. What a brilliant brainy blokes we are. The mermaid's hair will soon grow back, enough to fill another sack. We'll keep on doing it forever. We've hit onto something really clever. The little spotty ladybird, who hardly ever spoke a word, told the animals what she'd heard. Then the sea lion roared and the seagull shrieked. The mermaid wailed and the dolphin squeaked. The crab went snap. And the shark went gnash, and the whale's grey tail made a mighty splash. And the fish declared, that wicked pair, we can't let them steal the mermaid's hair. But the ladybird had a good idea, and she whispered it into every ear. Then the seagull gave a joyful shriek. And he fetched some seaweed in his beak. And as the sky was turning red, he dropped it onto the sea lion's head. Then as the sky was turning black, the sea lion climbed on the whale's humped back. The clock struck twelve and the two bad men, Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len, flip flapped down to the salty sea. It was cold and dark, but they laughed with glee. Then the whale began to sing a song. That's her, said Len, Hugh, we can't go wrong. They swam towards the tuneful sound. She's still awake, said Len, and frowned. The singing stopped, they took a peep, said Hugh, I think she's gone to sleep. Up they climbed with their big brown sack, onto the whale's enormous back, and snip, 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 
They started snipping. This hair, said Hugh, is damp and dripping. What's more, said Len, it's awfully tough. Our scissors can't be sharp enough. Then, help, cried Hugh. This rock is heaving. I think we'd better both be leaving. But Len replied, just one more snip. Then the whale's grey tail gave a great big flip. The thieves fell into the water, splosh. And Hugh said, golly. And Len said, gosh. Then, ouch, cried Hugh. And Len yelled, no. And the shark bit a flipper and the crab pinched a toe. They swam for their lives and then they ran all the way back to their camper van. You, said Hugh, we've had a scare, but at least we've got the mermaid's hair. They opened up the sack and then... It's full of seaweed, shouted Len, and tricked again, said the two bad men. Then the sea lion roared and the seagull shrieked. The mermaid sang and the dolphin squeaked. The crab went snap and the shark went gnash. The whale's grey tail made a mighty splash. The dogfish barked and the catfish purred. But the ladybird never said a word. I really enjoyed that story. I think that will now be one of my favourite stories to read. I wonder which story is your favourite. Maybe you could read it at home with one of your grown-ups. Hope you have a very lovely week and we'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.